Hey everyone, I've been testing out a new process for writing articles using ChatGPT. Uh, this is content that I produced in literally about um, less than 10 minutes, I'll say. Probably more like 5. Um, but as you can see, I've got a whole outline for my article and sections already written. So now I'll go into ChatGPT and show you how this works. First of all, um, you might be familiar with a tool called Keywords Anywhere. Um, if you're not, I think basically it's a very inexpensive way to do keyword research, and I would start with that. I'm sorry, it's actually called Keywords Everywhere. So Keywords Everywhere, and I think you just need to turn it on. And then if you search for a topic like, oh my god, like literally anything, chat GPT server overload was something that I was searching, it'll give you these suggestions. I guess I need to turn Ahrefs off so it'll stop over overriding that. But anyway, there you can see over here, there's a Keywords Anywhere. Um, widget and it has some keyword suggestions. So this is how I get keyword suggestions. I type in a common keyword search or some topic that I want to write about and then I use keywords everywhere to get some additional suggestions. Um, the more complex your topic the more suggestions you're going to get. In this case for this topic um, I got like 15 or so different ones. Um, I think this topic is about um, what you should know about commercial leases or what you should know before signing a commercial lease. So I can show you how that would work. And a commercial lease. So I type in that. And, and then as you can see, keywords everywhere it gives me um, all these suggestions here for close matches. People also search for long tail keywords. And I simply copied all of these into um, ChatGPT. Um, and then I wrote an instruction above it. Please remove duplicates from the following list. Um, and by the way, you can kind of control how this works by, um, like, you can use a, you know, a text edit document, right? That way you can um, write your instructions up here, and then once you're satisfied with all that, just copy that and paste it in here. Um, that way you can write a multi-paragraph uh, instruction. So anyway. Then ChatGPT removed all the duplicates and it basically cleaned my list. So I had just a clean list of these essential keywords that I want to target. Next, I told ChatGPT, uh, those are common Google searches that people run related to the topic of signing a commercial lease. I'm writing an article that I'd like to rank for those search queries. So it would be good to incorporate close matches or direct matches in some of my article headings. Can you write seven to eight H2 headings and 20 plus H3 headings for this article. And then I paste it in my article title here. Please place the H3 headings under the appropriate H2 headings. Avoid duplicate headings. Um, and then I've got the content. Um, ChatGPT just produced this, right, in like 10, 15 seconds. And then I said, can you please write a short description and a short introduction to the article? I give it some information about like the voice and tone that I like to use when I'm writing articles. And then it produced um, this section. I also told it the target audience age, 25 to 65, so that ChatGPT would know who to write this article for. Um, so it produced that introduction to the article, which I was pretty satisfied with. And what I did at this point is I copied all of that uh, outline into a Word doc what to know before signing a commercial lease. Um, and then I started pasting in the content also. And so I pasted in this content, are you considering blah, 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 right? So that's what goes right underneath the title of my article to just help preview the content of the article. Then I've got my first H2 heading here, introduction to commercial leases. And then I pasted in the introduction to commercial leases content right here. Now, personally, I felt that what ChatGPT first produced was a little bit too long, so I asked it to please cut about 30%, make it more concise, and they did, right? Um, so now it's it's not too long. I really just want to get straight into the body content. So then uh, I needed to write my first section. What is a commercial lease, right? And so I asked ChatGPT to write that section. Um, I said, go ahead and write it. Um, please optimize the content for search engine rankings. Use U language, which is part of the style that I like for blogging. Um, focus on valuable information. Basically, cut the fluff. Vary your sentence length. I kind of want to give ChatGPT a little permission and encouragement to 
um, vary the way that it writes so that it stays interesting for people. Um, short paragraphs, slightly informal. These are kind of SEO best practices. Um, and it's able to follow that style so long as you tell it what you want, right? And so it wrote this section right here. Um, and then I just wanted to continue that. So I asked it to then write types of commercial leases. Now, all I did is I copied this here and then I pasted it here and then I pasted in the correct, um, you know, H3 heading right there, you know, to be whatever, whatever it is that I want, right? So if it were types of commercial leases, I would just select this and then paste over it and, and then I'd hit enter, right? Um, but that's how I generated this next one. Um, and then it wrote more content for that section. Um, then I did it again for this third section, key components of a uh, commercial lease, right? And I already like the way that it's writing. Um, it's using bullets, which are wonderful for blog posts because people like to, you know, scan the internet. Basically, they don't necessarily read everything in your article. They like to scan for information. So it already, I think, understands what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to write an article that's optimized for uh, search engines, right? Um, so I didn't need to give it an overload of information. I mostly just needed to tell it a little bit about my writing style so that it can imitate that. Um, and then, yeah, please write an introduction to go under the H2 paragraph. That, so basically, I completed that whole section. And then I needed to move on to my next H2 section, understanding your business needs. So I asked ChatGPT to produce a paragraph for that next section. And if I read this and I think it's a little bit too long, I can ask ChatGPT to cut 30% of it or something like that. Um, and it'll just uh, adjust those words a little bit. Um, I am keeping everything inside one um, chat session. That way ChatGPT has history and it knows what I'm trying to do and it can take all that into, um, into account as it's producing new content for the article. I don't want to like keep refreshing this session or, you know, opening new new windows or something with more instances of chat. Um, because if I can keep all this information, it'll take everything into account and it should avoid repeating stuff that it's already covered in previous sections. In fact, I think the AI might already understand that I'm basically going to go through my entire outline and, you know, generate one section after the next after the next so it might even be avoiding talking about signing for example while i'm asking it a question like up here um in my experience i've tested this just a bit um in my experience uh chat sometimes will um like duplicate content too much um but i am hoping that by keeping it all inside one chat window and also by um you know, having this outline at the top of that window, that maybe that'll help reduce it. Um, my guess, though, is that there's going to be an editing process after this is all finished where I'm going to go through. Maybe I'll decide, like, okay, I can cut a little bit here. Um, obviously, I'll do some formatting here, probably to bold these things so that they stand out a little bit more. Um, and then another process that I might do is I might ask ChatGPT some specific questions like, um, can you give me a, a quick case study of a business that has, you know, done the following or something like that? Um, another thing I've, I've used it for in the past is I've asked it to write templates. Um, people often search Google for templates and oftentimes they can't find a free template. They have to, you know, deal with a paywall or, or something like that, or give out their email address to get that template. Um, ChatGPT can generate a template for, um, any number of things. Um, so just try asking it, and then you can include that in your article. It's a valuable resource. I hope that um, this gave you guys some ideas on how you can use ChatGPT. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.